Hi everybody, welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time here to another settlement build. Today we are tackling Nordhagen Beach, and I'm really excited about this one. Uh, Nordhagen Beach is this small settlement on the eastern coastline here, uh, and I'm excited about what this means for us as the Minutemen because it's the first one on this eastern side of the map. So previously we'd done Ten Pines Bluff, Starlight Drive-In, Oberlin Station, uh, and this is a really key position to us because it also gives us a lot of access to salt water that we can purify to be fresh water. Uh, this this settlement also comes with some people in it already. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so we have two adults and their kid. So having a kid at a settlement is kind of rare, but we're going to make the best of it. That's going to be really cool. Uh, so I am going to get started, like always, by putting down a recruitment beacon. Uh, and I'm also going to drop in a dog cage and a uh, cat cage so we can try and attract some of those too, because I love how they bring up settlement happiness. And I just like having dogs and cats around. So what do we need? Power. This will be enough to power all of them. Oh, that doesn't connect to that. That connects to that. I feel like I made some mistakes in the last build by not getting things set up uh, until I had already been building for a while, uh, which really <laughs> hurt us because then I couldn't attract any settlers because the happiness was so low. So you can see I already plopped down a machine gun turret. That's really just to make sure defense is high enough that we can start recruiting people in, even though this is going to be a pretty small settlement, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started just by scrapping stuff. I love uh, this settlement just for its neat location. It's, I mean, it's really like beachfront property. And how cool is that? We've got some driftwood. Uh, we've got an old boat. Uh, this family has been living in the shack. My impression of the shack from the chemistry station uh, is that this was somebody using it to create and deal drugs. Oh, we already got somebody amazing. I'm not ready to put them somewhere yet, but I don't want them to get unhappy. So just for now, uh, and feel free to not look at this because it's not gonna look good. Uh, we're gonna give them a sleeping bag in this sheltered area. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do two or three of these. Yeah, because I think I'm gonna end up wanting about six people total and I don't want people to get mad at me as they arrive. And then same deal, let's put another water pump down just to make sure that happiness stays up and we can get those two extra people that we need. But in the meantime, let's keep scrapping. I love these lawn flamingos. I put them by the general trader last time and I just think they're so cute. Oh, is this our new person already? Yes, it is, welcome. Okay, scrapping. There's a whole truck here, which is neat. I really wonder how this family found this property. Uh, I wonder if they like wandered onto it recently or they've been there honestly since they had their kid. Uh, but I think our approach as the Minutemen in this situation is, you know, uh, posting a guard at least and offering that protection in exchange for use of the land, uh, access to water. Uh, Cause like I said, I wanna put a water, fire a water purifier here and have this be a settlement that's able to provide that resource to our other settlements. So in exchange for that access, uh, we're letting them keep their land, but providing that protection. Driftwood. Lobster trap. I'm so glad that we have the um, Far Harbor DLC because I feel like the buoy decorations and stuff are going to be really cute here. More driftwood. I don't like that the kid has to farm, though. That is, that is some beef that I have. You should just be able to play. More driftwood, more pallet, tires. I love this rowboat. I wish there was a way to keep the rowboat, but like move it and have it be decoration, but it's just junk. And we can get rid of all these cinder blocks. Sometimes I leave them because they're like, um, I don't know, you could convince yourself that they're structural. 
but they're not, and I want this to be pretty clean. I'm also going to scrap most of what I can in this house. I know we won't be able to scrap the mattresses inside. That is kind of a downside of this settlement location. I'm going to scrap the chemistry station. They do not need to be uh, creating drugs or worrying about income at all, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I can't scrap that. I can scrap the bags of fertilizer, which is great. Nuka-Cola. I'm assuming the kid really likes Nuka-Cola. Yeah, I can't scrap either of those. But my thinking here is like, um, if anybody read like the boxcar children, the kids that lived in the boxcar, oop, no, I'm actually going to leave that there. That's cute. The kids that lived in the boxcar in the woods, they were so, let me out. Thank you. That was their home for so long that even when they moved back into like a house, they wanted to keep it. And so maybe that's kind of the mindset of this little shack. Like it was home for them and their kid for so long that it doesn't need to go away completely. Ooh, we can set up this toy truck again for him later, which will be cute. Let's store it. Is she just gonna keep following me around until I give her something to do? Hey, I just wanted to introduce myself. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for the opportunity. You're Anything welcome. Specific you want me to do. I'm willing to pitch in anywhere you need. I will have a job for you. Did you need anything? Not right now. We're pretty well set for the moment. Great. Just hold tight. You might be a good medic for us later. Medical care, I feel like, is one of our highest important things. Like, compared to a general trader, especially because they have a kid, I think they would prioritize being able to get medical care close. But I think a lot about, too, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs when we think about, like, how do we rebuild a society? How do we build a community of settlements that can communicate and support each other well enough to actually make a difference in the terms of the overall landscape of the Commonwealth? And the answer is, like, we're not even there thinking about that yet because a lot of people aren't having their basic needs met. And how can you think about, you know, government when you're thinking about Am I safe to go to sleep tonight? So our goals in rebuilding these settlements is to get people past those few basic tiers of Maslow's needs, making sure that they have food and water and defense and a shelter bed and, you know, giving them the tools to build up more in the future. But for now, okay, is that everything scrapped that I can scrap? I'll leave this fence here for now. Oh, wait, this isn't the um, fence for the farm. Then I'm going to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I'm still pumping along. I kind of like this barrel. I don't like that it's like broken. And these wood baskets are cute. Like this isn't a terrible farming setup. I just don't like the broken fences because it feels like it's not repairable. And I would want them to be able to repair things if they needed to. It's also not great, like, crop diversity. Like, we've really just got gourds. Um, let's see if we can put some more food down. Carrots actually do grow. Can I not place, can I not place more food here? I was just going to say, I know carrots grow okay in a like, sandy soil. Oh. You're looking at me confused. I'm looking at you confused. How do you have food growing out of here? Yeah, okay. That's not helpful. Ooh. Will any food go there or just... We have them all on farming, so I want to make sure they're being used, you know, efficiently. Wow, that's not useful okay we could do a garden plot we could ignore the sandy soil and we could just redo this as a garden plot okay that might be that might be what we do here yeah because that 
I just, I don't think they can live exclusively off of these gourds in the sand. I'm so sorry. I am going to take that away. Because this way they can have some more like food diversity, some more crop diversity. If these work, I'm going to lose it. But we'll also fence it in better. Oh my gosh. This should be so easy to put crops in, right? Oh wait, there, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Uh, and then we want this area to be fenced in. So let's grab my favorite fence because that's at least like repairable. Which again, you just, you don't want animals getting into this, you know? That's the point of a fence. We'll scrap this one. Scooch this back a little bit. Because this is, I think, the best area for the farm because all the other ground is like kind of slanty and weird. I really hoped that would just kind of, oh can't because of these. Can I move these outside of workshop mode? Yes, I can. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to have to scrap these. Okay. We'll scooch them over. There we go. We just, we want to be able to make some upgrades for them and their quality of life and their safety and just everything. Is that gonna be big enough? Okay, that's gonna go right through that plot, which is a problem, obviously, unless I, no, I can't really do that. Okay, so maybe we do make it like a little longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that still feels okay, except this one, I'm gonna replace with a gate so they have access on both sides, except that's not the way I wanted it to open. Yeah, the old fence wasn't really doing anything except being cute, which is nice. There we go. Uh, but we want practicality. We want to be able to keep Meyer lurks out, anything that might try and get in and hurt the crops. Oop, now we're leaning away from the original fence path. That'll be okay. That fence is cute. It's just, again, not maintainable, and that's a problem. Uh-oh, am I going to be able to link these two together? Yes! <gasps> that was the easiest fence building experience that I've ever had. So that's really promising. Okay, let's get rid of this and this. We'll come back into resources and give them another garden plot here. And then we'll do some corn. Maybe these are just like meant for only four things and I'm the one being crazy and pushing the limits by thinking it should handle more. Yeah, maybe we just do like four corn in this one. Get rid of the tater plant. Four carrot in this one. Are they gonna get mad at me for getting rid of all their gourds? Is that gonna like hurt me? I hope not. Okay. 
Because how many of these can I do? Like that, and then can I fit another one in this corner? Oh, well, I can't because it's overlapping with the gourd. <gasps> but I can if I squish it in like that. And we'll even out the spacing. Like, that's going to be a lot nicer for them. Let's see if I can grab this. You're assigned to food production. You're assigned to food production. We'll do some mute fruit. Yeah, they just really don't have good soil at this location. I wish I could take the kid off um, farming entirely. Maybe if I delete all the gourds, he'll just kind of pick something else to do. And I'm just switching between the varieties to give us some, um, you know, variety. Ugh, I can't. Maybe I can. If I scooch these over, then I can keep some of them. Because maybe these gourds grow really well in this sandy soil. I mean, they have been surviving here. Okay, so if we count up, that's two, four, six, eight units of food production. And then 10, 12. So if I keep all of these, then we're right at a perfect 12, which is full capacity for both adults. So I kind of do want to keep these two as like the native crop to the settlement. I just want to find a better layout for them. Which I almost did right there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I mean, I don't want it to be right there, but if I can't move it, then I can't move it, you know? All right. All right. Uh, and let's move this water pump in here because it would make sense that you would need water access closer to where you're doing crops. But where? Maybe I put it in the corner and move the baskets over some more. Because again, I love these baskets. Oh, the kid is still farming. We ain't got any hand up. I am here to help you. Why am I not going into build mode? Why am I stuck? The farm's not much, but it's something. That was weird. Okay, I'm unstuck. Of course you won't go right in the corner. That would be too easy and nice. Why is this pump so hard to place? Come here. Come here. That's fine. There, okay, they've got their water, they've got these buckets. I don't know how to deal with that kid, I'm sorry. You, can I assign you explicitly to the ones that he's assigned to and then maybe that'll kick him off? Like who's assigned to that one in the corner? He is? Oh no, he self-assigned himself to the new crops. That's not what we want. I want him to be free. Okay, that's fine. So this is the new, farm area which is much more efficient and prettier and better overall okay we have this lady um and we're gonna want to set up some 
uh, some more defense. So I think thinking about guard barracks next is going to be a really good move. So let's get a sense of how people kind of come into this settlement because it's on this big road. Uh, and then we can't get rid of these telephone poles. But I could do... No, I can't go into settlement mode from outside the settlement. Is that a Mirenler thing over there? Okay. That's fine. I don't need to deal with that right in this moment. But like this. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice... Uh, it's aligned with the entrance of the settlement. Like that. We'll do one here too. Because uh, once I'm done with this stuff, we'll move it out of the way. And then here as well. And this feels like a good way too to kind of get around these big bushes. That's nice. Because uh, we can't remove them and we can't have like a lower one because it wouldn't be able to see over them. Okay, so we've got those and then maybe guard barracks happens right at the entrance here or even another one of these right because this is another way that people could approach oh that looks bad because it's floating What just happened? There. That's less floating. And then here can be where the actual guard barrack building is because that way we have another barrier for people trying to enter the settlement. We'll go ahead and use a foundation to get over that grass. Yeah, and I don't expect this to be a huge barracks because, I mean, ideally we're only gonna have one guard here. We'll put the door on this side. And I want that smooth wall on the back for the Minuteman flag representation that I love so much. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Hmm. That's nice. That's some interest. And then I'll do, which way do these planks go? That way. Like this upper thing. Uh-oh. That's not going to touch the ground. That's okay. Let's do tiny floor like this. I guess I could do the other stairs. What would that look like though? I mean, that's still just like floating in the middle of nowhere, so I don't really want to do that. And then, can I use this thing? How close does that look? That's not terrible. I didn't expect that to snap. Oh, it's not snapping at all. That just snapped like that? That looks horrible. It works though. Interesting. I don't, I don't think I like it. I think I would rather have That's too big. What about the scaffolding? Would scaffolding help us out? Like, okay, if I get rid of that, just for a second here. Like, 
Like, I don't think these stairs are any higher, but I think that we could get a prettier end result. Will this snap to that? No. Okay. Will this snap? I might undo this, but then we'll know. I don't like this. It's taking up too much space. Let's go back to the wood set. not the worst thing in the world. Maybe this should be a little lower. Not closer. Okay, grabbing that was a bad idea. And I can't do stairs on that side, but I can on this side. And that'll touch the ground. They can still get up here. My idea for this is like we did at the, um, gosh, I think it was the Oberlin station build, uh, just giving them somewhere to sit and put some turrets. I'm not using that. What does that sound? Just general ambience? Is there a storm happening? I don't like this. Okay. Well. We're just gonna cover this up in the meantime. Oh, it is a radiation storm. That's what's happening. What can I do about that? I guess not much, but give them... Oh, look, even the power lines are quaking. I guess I can't really do anything but, like, give them safe housing to weather this out. I did not think about this part of having a beachfront settlement. Gosh, this poor family has just been living with so much stress and a kid... Okay, we want to make sure that we give them solid doors then when we do stuff because they need some protection from the elements. We'll wall this part off, but then we'll leave this open so we can put turrets. Yeah, we're just going to build through the storm, I guess. If I put this here, does that make it hard to use the stairs? The lightning is what's going to make it hard to use the stairs. Why can't this go closer to the corner? Maybe I'm not able to fit. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's find some good chairs. Patio chair. I was thinking, you know, <laughs> the guard, whoever we get, can come up here and, like, sit up here. But now I'm like, oh, the weather <laughs> might make that impossible for this location. That would be cute, but it's a little too big. I feel like a wood table is more meant for inside, so let's do, yeah. This metal one. That's nice. And then do I have... 
anything. Honestly, maybe bourbon. To just like put up here for the guard to enjoy and sit with. That's kind of cute. Yeah, because these are doing the defense by themselves. Okay, so we got the top of the guard barracks done. Let's put my favorite little Minuteman flag here on the back before I forget. Minuteman flag. I'm getting worried that it's not snapping. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you could see the panic in my face, but I was not loving that. Great. Um, and then while we're here, let's grab that like fence thing again. This one, I love this one. And just put more of a clear visual. This is not the entrance to the settlement indicator. Uh, so our guard can post up here. And let's do some more of that like this. It's obviously not going to be perfect. There are still gaps. But I want this to remain like the entrance of the settlement. And again, once we clean up these things. Let's go ahead and open this door so we can decorate inside. Uh, and like I said, I think we're just hoping for one guard. So I think the Minutemen would just kind of post one person here. It's not a huge settlement. There's not a ton of people to protect. So I think one plus the automated turrets would be good. But just because he's just one doesn't mean that he doesn't still need storage. That's good. Weapon racks, yeah. We could do some smaller ones. I like a bigger one just as a visual centerpiece though. And then let's go ahead because I think I have, can I put a grenade on a weapon rack? We're about to find out. Nope, I can't, okay. Well, let's go ahead and put this on. And if I put more than one, will it display? No, it's just the one. Well, that's underwhelming. All right, what do I have that's bigger? Shotgun? I mean, it's underwhelming, but I guess it's fine. Let's do... A little welcome mat here. Actually, mm -mm, I changed my mind on welcome mat. He seems, this seems like a uh, rubber mat sort of situation. And we can kind of overlap. Oh, maybe we can't. We're gonna use these two to kind of be like the entryway runner. Okay, so cabinet, welcome rack. And then I want, I think an oil lamp would be good in here. Yeah. Oil lamp. And then I know that there's this big cabinet, but I still think that a smaller container for like personal effects would be useful. And I love doing the foot locker in the guard barracks. So I think that's the one we'll go for. Okay, foot locker, bed, cabinet, welcome or weapon rack with that underwhelming combat shotgun. But that'll be okay. And then is there any wall decorations? I do, I like a mounted head. And maybe he's got like a collection of them. Maybe we got bloat fly head, mounted bug. Ooh, and yeah, Meyer lurk. Or that fits better, I think. Do we have, oh. Mm -hmm. I keep changing my mind every new one I see. I think the mole rat head is a nice balance to the bloat fly head and then the blood bug is like the prize piece. So we've got a bit of a trophy hunter here. 
That's nice. And then is there anything else that like makes sense in here? Uh, in case you can't tell, for this build, I made sure I picked up a bunch of junk beforehand instead of trying to do it all at the end. Desk fan? Yeah, I like a desk fan. I can't sleep without a fan, so how could I expect the guard to? There we go. Okay. So we've got some trophies. We've got light, weapons, storage, desk fan, footlocker. This is a really good like guard barrack setup, I think. Yeah, gorgeous. Okay, let's move on to the water purifying aspect. Because this, I mean, this location is so useful for the Minutemen because we have so much access to water. So I think the idea would be that we fortified this settlement uh, and we set it up to produce a ton of clean water. And then, you know, we can send that out to other settlements. Watch this not even fit, though. I... Okay, well. <laughs> okay, so big old water purifier there. And I'll use this to inform how many we can have. Like that. Okay, they each need five power. I mean, I don't hate that. Oh, it barely produces anything though. We would need so many of those. Okay, so this one can power both. I don't want it to be like on the ground though. Like if I take this thing that I love and I make it like a uh, like a dock for maintenance of these purifiers. Ooh, I can make it like a dock. That's neat. Because the idea is, right, this is such a valuable resource that we'd want it to be well maintained and well repaired. Okay, I like that a lot. And that's a ton of water production uh, that they'll be able to, because they don't need all of that, they'll be able to sort of ship it out and provide it to other settlements. So that's awesome. Um, and then with that, I want like a mechanic's house or uh, somebody who can serve as a mechanic to be nearby. I could just use the prefab shack. I haven't done a lot of builds with um, metal, so I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. Is there a floor? Does the metal set have a floor? Or is it just like these things? What? Okay. Okay, I want to learn. Does it just go like... I think I hate this. <laughs> Let's go back to... Oh, you know what we could do? I like the warehouse set. And the warehouse feels a little more industrial, so I think I would still get the vibe that I'm looking for. So this will still be somebody's like house, whoever I make the mechanic. Um, but they'll be the one maintaining this generator. And they'll get a cool view of the ocean. 
And because generator maintainer isn't a real job, I am going to give them the uh, scavenging station, which is something they can be in charge of or assigned to. But we'll know. We'll know that their real job is generator maintenance here. And maybe a, um, a container would make sense here too, because they would be storing all the water, the fresh water to ship out to other settlements. So maybe that's like done in crates. And these are settlement or these are shipments that are gonna go out once the provisioner makes a stop there. You know what I mean? So there's the fresh water crates. Yeah, that's really fun. Okay, now going back to their actual house. Should we make it more of an L shape? Just because we can? I mean, we have the real estate for it, you know? These walls are really damaged, which is unfortunate because for a location that gets like um, radiation storms like we had, it would be nice if it was a little sturdier. Oh, I just built myself inside of it. Okay. How, how do I do this ceiling now? It can all be flat. Ooh. I like this, like a hipped roof. And then the front side is flat. How's that gonna look from the outside? Ooh. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, what about this one that slants away? It just leaves this giant gap. Okay, do we have wall pieces for filling that in? Like, does that, yeah, it does. And then a little sideways one. I always wondered what those pieces were for. Okay, that's wonderful, that's great. Uh, except this one. And now we need the other side for that. And we'll just need a roof that like meets this in the middle, which could just be, yeah. This one and then I'll do that to fill in the gaps. That's great. That's great. Cool. I wonder, I mean, since we have the generator here, if we could chain some of that power to their house and give them like an actual light bulb. Usually I, I prefer no power lines. Conductors and switches. Would that be like? Well, I could just chain it to this, right? That doesn't look too messy. I worried it would be like really weird. And then hopping over there, putting a conduit on this wall and connecting that to this power pylon. Yeah, cause that doesn't look too bad. And now this like warehouse setup has power. Does this little lip need stairs or is it so close to the ground already? I think it's close enough to the ground already. This, oh my gosh, okay, that's amazing. That's wonderful. Does a different light work better though? Like maybe, Ceiling fan would be weird there, but it could. That's so great. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Like 
Like that's nice. And I want this corner, honestly, to be able to stay kind of dark because I think that's where uh, the bed would be, unless. That's kind of mild. Subway light. Disco ball. I mean, no, but yes. It's the strobe light, too. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Need that gone now. It did exactly what it said it was going to do, so I don't know why I'm surprised. <laughs> Maybe we could do a little, like, track lighting. What does this look like? Hmm. I still don't like it. Honestly, construction light could be like kind of fitting here. No, because it needs actual power tied to it, not just. Never mind. What about this though? That's nice. Yeah, I like that. And then matching one on that side. Yeah. Okay, that's really coming together. And we can start doing some furniture. I feel like bed. Ooh, which side is the front? That's where the head goes. So bed. And then what I'm thinking here is that this is like a warehouse space used for all kinds of construction, like an armor workbench and a weapons workbench would work well here. Is that too um, close to the door? Maybe that should just be uh, like a cabinet or something. So weapons workbench, armor workbench behind the door, bed over here, cabinet over here. And maybe the upper cabinet too. So usually we don't have enough like vertical height for that, but we definitely do here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really loving that. And then again, I think the oil lamp makes more sense here than the candles. You know I love the candles just for this okay and then like a little nightstand over here i think would be lovely shelves or tables maybe containers little credenza I like that I like the idea that this is like an antique that the mechanic brought with them and then another oil lamp on top of that and then no rugs in here but I think rubber flooring I really love the rubber flooring for these industrial spaces. Yeah, okay. That's nice. And then maybe some kind of shelf here for more personal effects. That could be so good in that corner too though. I mean, it's huge. 
would this be better than the little antique credenza? Or maybe just in addition to? Yeah, both can fit. No need to choose. And then we'll put that shelf there. Okay. And then let's look for some signage. Signs. This is a restricted area. Uh, so let's put that on here on the outside. And then we'll do some electrical. And a tool sign on here as well. Yeah. These don't make a ton of sense, so come back in here. It's not government property. Let's do a no smoking sign over here. It might mess up the uh, workbenches. Cute. And then we can do a little decoration over here because this is the personal area. And we're right on the beach. So maybe some... Actually, I like just that one. And then let's see if I have any junk that makes sense in here too. Adjustable wrench, yes. Hammer, yes. Broom? Yes. And then let's give them a gold watch. Something to like have by the bedside to be fidgeting with, I think is, is a fun detail for a mechanic. Like maybe something that's they've been trying to repair for a while. And then the tools can go here. That broom might be hard to position. I might come back to the broom. And then the hammer. Actually, let's grab both the tools to go on the shelf. There. What else did I drop? I was not keeping track. Was it just the broom? All right, let's see if um, workshop mode allows us to pick up the broom. It does! Okay, where can I prop that up? Like here where nobody will knock it over? Why does it want to be in the floor? <laughs> I, I don't want it to be in the floor. What if I try? Nope, it just comes right back up. Okay. I just, I want it to be like sitting here. You know what I mean? So out of workshop mode, if I grab this, can I prop it up like this? No. Uh-oh. Nope, not through the window. Okay. Honestly, that's fine. It doesn't have to be pointing straight up. I, I love this. This mechanic space, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and that gives uh, the Minutemen like a big leg up in providing resources to the Commonwealth as well. Awesome. Okay, we still only have the four people. Uh, we do have that one new person who I can assign to be our mechanic, but I kind of want to see who else we get. Um, what I know that we need to do is create a better house for the family. Uh, I'm going to leave them both on farming just because I think that's something they're very committed to at this point. Uh, but I'll leave them both on farming and I'll try and build a bigger house for them with some more security and comforts. So 
So this we can kind of do what we did at Overland again and like lined it up with the old. Although maybe I can't on this side because we're too close to the workshop. Like I don't, I don't want to make them feel too unsettled. Oh no, I don't want that to snap. Let's get this out of the way. Uh, if this is what they're used to, I want to give them like a very comfortable first step into a better life. You know what I mean? Especially because they have a kid, so I know they're going to be reluctant to do any like big changes or leave behind anything that's kept them safe for so many years. People do crazy things when they're in survival mode. And I think that's where all these settlers are. That's not gonna snap. Why isn't that gonna snap? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's not tall enough. So let's try and make this one a little taller. And let's make sure that's still aligned. There's really no reason this needs to be next to the old shack. I just think visually when we have the settlement completed, uh, it'll be nicer if this seems like one intentional building and not just a bunch of uh, spread out junk. Wow, that really doesn't want to go there. Why? It can go like there. But that's way too far away from these things. Oh! Yay! Okay, that's a good foundation for them. Where is the front door gonna be? Because it could be on this side to sort of keep consistent. I know you're going to sleep in the little shack room, but you don't have to. Where is your child? Oh, you're not even, you're the new lady. Are you making the old family sleep out here? Where's the child? All right, we'll deal with that later. These stairs are too short, right? Yeah. I think I want this to be two stories and I just don't know where the stairs would go. Let me try. Uh, to integrate it with like this. I hate there's not really a way to get the same uh, shack foundation effect under it, but we can do what we did uh, with the guard barrack and just kind of hide it with this, you know? If, it, if I can convince it not to snap. Maybe, okay, I'll fake snap that there for now. There. Okay. The problem is that where that exits it can't just exit up against a wall. You know what I mean? Like it needs to um, come out somewhere. Okay. If I point it that way, we'll have a problem. If I point it that way, we'll have a problem. What if I move it here? We'll put this back. And then this whole side. Oop, that's not what I wanted to grab. Still not what I wanted to grab. This whole side can be like wider. Although that wouldn't work on the second floor. That wouldn't look right. Would it? Hold on. Okay, so just for piecing things together, if that side comes out so we can support the stairs, then we can't, oh, I guess we can. I don't, I don't love how it looks. Oh, 
Oh. That one's not bad. Okay. Let's keep going and see how that looks in daylight. I guess this part doesn't need to. Again, this might all be revisited. And let's hide this corner again, because I hate that there's no supports. How is this going to work? We would do like a shack upper floor. Building multi-story in Fallout is really tricky. But I really want this family to have a good setup. Because this is their land. And we're just kind of coming in and claiming it for the Minutemen. So I want it to be very worth it to them. Then I want them to feel safe and, you know, supported and loyal. What wall did I do down there? This one? So we'll switch it up on top. We'll do this end cap. Really, I'm just picking randomly based on how I feel and the textures I want when I do walls. I really hope this can snap. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I did not want to have to move this whole house. And then that one might be visually interesting. Okay. So we can definitely get up to the second level. Boom, boom, and then this one will meet that first one. Boom. Okay, that's nice. Oh, but I did not do walls on the inside. Oops. Use this plank one. Oh, I hope it snaps. Maybe it won't. We're just gonna try and do this side first. Uh oh. Okay. So. Where's it trying to snap? Here? And just like be an inside room? That's not how this works. Okay. What else can we do? I wasn't looking for stairs. If that can fit, then why can't a whole wall fit? Is it the roof part? Probably. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind using existing structures as walls for bigger houses. This just feels a little flat. If we're gonna have it be open air, we might as well <laughs> embrace it. This one has a good texture. I 
Okay, so I'm thinking like this is the parents, this is the kids, this is the kitchen, this is maybe like a couch. Let's finish doing the outdoor before we do the indoor, and I think that just looks like a fire barrel or something. Yeah. I know it looks so, like, gloomy <laughs> in the dark, but we'll get there. Okay, what did I say? This would be the parents, and that would be the kids. Let's put down a rug first. Okay, well, let's do the rocket ship rug for the kids' side, and then maybe no rug for the grown-up side. Kids' bed, I'm going to use this one because it's small, and I'm going to fall through. That'll be nice for him. And then for the grown-ups, I'm gonna do these two, but like together. Like in, in Zhuzhum. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice. Is that not actually, they don't fit? Uh oh they won't fit. Do I care? Not really. I guess we'll see if they like complain about not being able to get into the beds, but visually that looks like a queen bed and that's really great. I want that um, credenza table that we didn't use in the mechanics because I feel like that's a great like not a headboard, like a foot storage, you know what I mean? Actually, I might not like that. It might overpower the beds a little bit. And I am worried about them not being able to get into these beds. Do we have a smaller? I could push two of these together. How much thinner are these? Not much. Let's try. <laughs> yeah, I might have to switch. Dang. I don't like giving them beds that they have to like smush and contort themselves up in to get into. need these like as close as humanly possible okay that's nice and then because I don't want them all to have the same bed I'll give the kid the slightly larger one oh the kid kind of cashes in here okay how do we make this look more like a centerpiece intentionally done mm, that's still a little like overwhelming no, no. We might do a dresser here for the kid. Steamer trunk? Suitcase? Mm. I don't hate suitcase. I don't hate steamer trunk, but wish that it was slightly smaller. Cabinets are too big. Let's look at tables. What about this one? It just doesn't feel like a bed. 
that's that could be okay or like this one there yeah and then if we do some art and shelves i think that'll be nice like a shelf there and some art as the headboard something wide Is a painting of a mountain weird for beachfront? Well, I guess that's still water, so maybe it's not. Yeah, that's lovely. Let's put some candles down while I'm here. Nope. It should be here. I'm just... Oh, no, because I'm still in wall decorations. Gosh. Well, candles fit up here. I wish more things fit on those shelves. So we'll do like that, and that, and then I do want to actually go back to wall decorations for the buoys, because I think that'll be cute. Yeah. Too big. Mm. Maybe more for the kids' room. Yeah. Hmm. Posters? Maybe we give the kid something cool. Probably not interested in telecommunication services. Yes. Absolutely yes. Mr. Pebbles, the first cat in space. Is that a reference to that dog? You know the dog I'm talking about. Laika? Well, we'll hopefully get a cat at the settlement, and then the boy can have a pet cat. And how cute is that as a kid's room? Okay. Oh, and I just fell right through. I want more here to do uh, for the adults. Maybe the wall candles? Why wouldn't those be under wall decorations? These stairs are gonna be the death of me. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And then let's do a plant in the upstairs corner here just because and then i could do some more art here i think because it's a beachfront something like this would be really cute yeah okay and then i know i have some toys in my inventory that we can put down for this kid. Baseball glove. Teddy bear. Uh, toy alien, toy car, toy truck. Did I have comfy pillows? Yes, I did. Uh, let's give those two to the adults because I have, I don't have as much interesting stuff for their side, to be honest. They're going to mess it up as soon as they get in bed, though. That's how it usually goes. I hate these stairs, but I love a two-story house. Can I make these better in, oh, no, I can't, okay, but I can flip this one over and we'll just move it.
okay, that's something. Makes up for their small, <laughs> small beds. Okay, we'll put the teddy bear on the bed. Baseball glove can go up here. And then the rest of the toys, I want like another basket. Is there a basket? I'm wondering if Far Harbor has like a fish bucket, but empty. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like if that didn't have fish in it, actually, can we just pretend it doesn't have fish in it? I know, like I know they're in there. And I see them and you see them. But if we cover it up with toys and we pretend that they're not there. Because now, now it's just a toy basket. And that's really cute. Yeah, he's got his baseball glove. He's got his teddy bear. He's got this basket of toys. Ignore. <laughs> okay, wait. Is there anything else that we could use? Probably not display. No, not display, not weapon racks. These would be cute down, um, down on the beach. We should put those there. I guess not. A bed. <laughs> Ooh, ottoman would be cute. Let's give him an ottoman. No fish rack. I think the best option is the fish bucket. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about using things that aren't what they're like intended for, but if they look visually similar, I think I'm good with it. Let me know what you think in the comments if you hate the fact that there's canonically fish in this boy's room. Uh, but I think we can just accept that it's a nice little toy basket. Okay, that's a great setup. Parents have a good setup, kid has a good setup. Uh, let's come down here and do the kitchen. You know I love this cooking stove. And then the cabinet. I like. This just feels like a cooking uh, kitchen counter. And we'll put a cooler on top of it because they do not have refrigeration. And then just because we have space over here, I feel like more storage would be kind of nice too. So we can like give them a filing cabinet and this metal box thing. Because maybe they have other stuff they want to lock up. Okay, kitchen, kitchen. And then we want like a kitchen table here. And they're a family of three, so we just need to be able to fit three. Although maybe this could fit four. Chair, 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 chair. Yeah, that's really nice. Although maybe we scooch this backwards just because coming in from the outside is going to be a little tricky. Yeah. Okay. And then in terms of decorations... Would a shelf be nice or like an upper cabinet or just a painting? Let's see. Mm 
like this cabinet for storing extra cups and bowls and stuff. That's fine. It's a little bulky. I think I think it's too bulky. We'll get rid of that. But I do think they should use, they could use some candles. So we'll do a candle there. Maybe the wall candle again down here. Yeah, that's that's nice. It's a little less intrusive. And then I think here would be another good place for some junk. And I think I've got um, cereal. What's the cereal? Sugar bombs. I feel like the kid would appreciate sugar bombs. And we'll give them some water. And then maybe a bowl for the cereal. And do I have like a dinner plate? Yes. And a drinking glass? Yes. I'm going to immediately forget everything I just dropped. But what you going to do? Let's do the sugar bombs over here. Like maybe it's not breakfast time, but it's a self-service kind of breakfast. And then this settlement has so much fresh water that we can just kind of set it up for them. Pour it in a drinking glass, even. I love this. And a bowl. Okay. I just want to get this away from the edge of the counter. Okay, we've got sugar bombs, breakfast cereal, and a bowl, and a cooler, and a cooking stove, and some water and plate. Hi! Oh, are you new now? Or are you the... Got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Lady I've already talked about. When we're done with this house, let's find her something to do because she is really starting to creep me out. Let's do a welcome rug. And I think we want to cap the settlement at six people. So let's keep an eye on that and make sure if it gets close that we turn off that radio beacon. Ooh. This chair. This chair. I kind of like that they those aren't matched. It's kind of like a... Oh, you're just going to come sit down? Okay. You really want something to do, huh? We'll get there. We'll get there. gonna put a bookshelf back here again for some extra storage for them uh, and I want a little side table that I can put a candle on and then where can I fit a plant in here here and then maybe a painting here as well. That's nice. Ocean themed painting in my ocean front settlement. Okay. Sitting area. You. All right. Let's put you. Come with me. We'll make her the mechanic because that's what we've got so far. Because this is a nice space too. And I think she should be excited about it. Oh, this we can get rid of now, because we have more than enough water. Is that enough to get her out from squatting in this house? No. Come with me, because we also have to assign her the job. And then I think I have a mechanic jumpsuit that we can dress her up in, too. I love when people, when I can dress them up. I 
just want to trade a few things. Sure. The mechanic. Yes. There we go. And if I have an extra chess piece, never mind. Can't do both. Take that back. Yeah, there we go. Because now she is our official Minuteman designated mechanic. She is going to maintain the water pumps and scavenger station over there and live in that mechanic house. So that's really wonderful. Ooh, do we have somebody who's self-assigned? Yes, we do. Huh? Hi. I'd like to trade some items. I mean, that works for me, but let's make sure that he is Minuteman aligned. Which would be the Minuteman hat, the Minuteman outfit. And then I know the Minuteman outfit we can put uh, armor over. Oops, I'll put that on first. There. And... We'll keep him assigned to that, but we will assign him the bed in the guard barracks as well, so he knows where to go. Okay. So like I said, like I do want this to stay a smaller settlement. Uh, I think we're just looking for one more person here. And I think that would be for a uh, medic. Because uh, our options, usually, usually we do a bar. Um, we don't really need a bar in this case because they have a pretty good farm. Uh, and I don't really think this is a settlement for nightlife because we have a child here. Um, so I wouldn't do a bar. I could do a general trader, but I don't think this is a settlement that's going to get a ton of trading. I think this is more like an outpost that the Minutemen have backed for access to water. So the only thing that really leaves us with... Well, I guess that could also leave us with clothing, but if we're not going to do a general trader, we probably don't need clothing either. The only thing that really leaves us with then is a medic, which I do think the family would be very receptive to because, you know, that's healthcare for their kid. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then where does it make sense to have... Let's go up here so we can look. We have the guard barracks over there in that distance. We have the mechanic. We have the main house. So the medic could go over here just to sort of balance out the settlement. But let's come down here closer to the beach. Yeah, I think this could be a good spot. And our goal for this is just kind of a singular person. Nothing huge. Like, we don't need chem production. Uh, actually, I think it's important that we don't have chem production. Uh, since the settlement, I really do think the settlement used to have, I'm changing my mind and we're just going to make this a one or a two square building. I think the settlement used to have chem production and I don't think that was super safe for the kid. So we got rid of the chemistry station and I'm really in no rush to add it back. But something like this. Well, I should also be using these to sort of spread out some turrets. Let's put that there for now and come back to it. Give me, yeah, like a smooth wall. This will be a pretty small, unless they want a um, overlook to the ocean, you know? Like, that's kind of cute. Mm, I 
think I like it better that this stays small. Let's switch these up. I really think that sometimes Fallout just messes with me for no reason, just for fun. And then the code laughs. <laughs> what roof? I wish I liked the roof with the rocket ships on it more than I do. Because it's cute. Okay. This is going to be our medic, so let's drop down a fire barrel so people can find it. And I know I can't do a little mute fruit hedge because we're on this sandy ground. We'll do the regular drug sign. But of course, in this case, we just mean stim packs. This side feels a little too flat. So let me get a better end cap. That feels a little little better balanced. And even though this is a really small clinic, we could still do like some chairs out front. This bench. Let's put on a door before I forget. Yeah, I don't usually use that door, but I like the red because it feels uh, like hospital. Is that totally covered? I guess it's fine being from that side. And let's go over to stores. Clinic. And I actually, I don't know if we'll be able to fit. I was gonna say, let's just go with the small clinic, but maybe we could fit the bigger one. Yeah, that's not terrible. And it, it does make them happier, which is why I want to use it if I can. It is so, so hard to get to 100% happiness in any settlement. Like, like almost impossibly hard. Like, you've got to have so many um, bars. <laughs> Just so many bars per person, which is kind of crazy. Let's see if we can do like a bookshelf kind of separating. No, I don't like that. That could be good. Let's look for flooring. Oh, that's going to be too big. A little overlapping rubber flooring surgery center. Let's grab a stool. Something tall enough for them to see over at least. And then their bed. And I actually don't think this medic would be prepared to do surgeries. I know usually I go for this bed as like the surgical setup, but I think this settlement is, I mean, it's definitely smaller. I think they would have less resources than our others. for an oil lamp. Yeah, and this bookcase is just to sort of separate the professional part of the building from the personal part of the building. Let's get a good painting. 
Y'all know I, I love doing the like little cat and dog paintings in the clinics because it feels family friendly. But especially here, I feel like they would specifically have a medic who loved kids and wanted this to feel like a welcoming space. So even though it's not as big of a clinic, let's switch these around. Maybe they just love love this. I know I do. And like they've been collecting these. We'll just let the cat ones intersect a little bit. Scooch this out and try and do this one lower. There we go. That's the one. That's it. That's cute. Yeah, we don't have a ton of room here, but we still could squeeze in a plant. Doctors know the importance of clean air quality. Any other decorations I want here? Actually, I, I just kind of love the idea that this doctor is like a little childish. They were they're here specifically to be a medic for a little kid. So like, why not? Maybe this goes outside. Yeah, maybe they just have some lawn flamingos. There. And those were, I mean, those were at the settlement originally, so maybe the kid likes them and has named them or something, you know? Wow, I don't have a ton of use for display here. Let's check what I can drop as junk, because I know I have some, like, stim packs. Jet, I'm not going to put in this settlement, because that <laughs> is a problem for kids. Um, but Mentats, not for the kid, but for the doctor, maybe is there. Ooh, did not mean to take that. Let's drop some Radex. Do we have to drop these one at a time? I know some things try and stack. And then let's drop some Rad away. And some more purified water. And some stim packs. If this could like go on the shelf, I will be so delighted. <gasps> Wait, can it? Yes, it can! Okay, that's great. That's exactly what I was hoping for this shelf. Maybe not everything. That's okay. Can we get some Radaway up there? Maybe not. Maybe we just put that in by hand. But the Radex. Mentats I'll leave here for the doctor. Because those are the ones that make you smarter, right? Stimpak, I'm going to want to be right on top of the actual clinic, but we can place that by hand. Just for quick use. Same with Radaway. And then I'm going to put the other Radaway inside. Maybe not. Am I right in this is see-through? Yeah, that's see-through. So if I can put it in there. Yeah. Same with this rat X. Oh, it doesn't want to go in there, but it can. There we go. Did I have every anything else? Oh, I did not mean to pick up the mentats. Go back. I 
I didn't mean to knock that down. Let's see if we can get it upright again. <gasps> that worked. Oh, I knocked over the radix that was up here. There. Okay. Can I get this one standing up again, too? Maybe if we go back in workshop mode. Nope. Oh no, that one's pretty stuck. Well, maybe this just becomes our Radix shelf. Yeah, okay. It's not a ton, but it's something. We got some Radaway. We're still at five people. Let's see if there's any other junk I have that makes sense. To go in here duct tape no i'd be so scared if i saw duct tape in a doctor's office <laughs> like broken bone we're just gonna <laughs> tape you tape you back up but a microscope a microscope i like there Did somebody just breathe really heavily that wasn't me They've got a microscope, they've got some medicine, they've got some mentats and water in their little bed over here. That's lovely. Okay, cool. That'll be it for a clinic. Um, but then remember, I wanted to do some more defense in this settlement. So let's go ahead and get that set up. And I'm just gonna put this randomly where it feels good. This is such a big empty space and I think we could make this a lot more like crowded and use all of that space but I just don't feel like that's the vibe of this this settlement so maybe in another build we'll do another turret set up here Oop. and structures and then I think the last thing we'll do is set up an outhouse uh, but then I think we'll be good. Hmm, where should that go? Maybe over here, kind of by this downed jet. Miscellaneous. I always forget where these things are. Let's do the one without the holes in it. And then just to keep this area sort of appealing, I guess is the word I want to use. We'll drop a campfire. Not there, because that feels like it'll catch on fire. Wow, is there anywhere it wouldn't catch on fire? Maybe we just pretend those aren't in our way. <laughs> and then some patio seating. Which, and I said this before, this is not to be creepy <laughs> and listen to somebody in the outhouse, but it's if you get out of bed and you walk all the way over here and somebody else is in it, you want a non-awkward place to wait. So we've got our farmers. We're still hoping to get a dog and a cat. Uh, but in the meantime, like those will need somewhere to go. So maybe we go ahead and put a dog house down, which I think the kid would be absolutely delighted if that's anywhere near the entrance to his house. We'll do a cat bowl. And a dog house. 
And then last thing I'm thinking, does anybody need any seating to sit outside? I know we're not doing a restaurant, but it still feels like maybe they could enjoy this outdoor area. Let's do two patio tables. They should be closer together. And that just gives them all another place to gather, kind of hang out. Oh, this uneven ground is terrible. <laughs> move this one so it's not as floating in the middle of nowhere. But maybe they get a little... Oh, I was going to say radio, but now I'm like, there are so many other things. Like maybe they do want some lighting out here. Candles would get extinguished super quick in this uh, this weather. But yeah, we can do some Diamond City Radio. I am going to put a big old trash bin over, over here by our mechanic's house. If I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe back here. Or maybe I can't. <laughs> now I really want to. Let's scratch that and just do this little trash can. That'll be okay. That'll tide me over. Uh-oh. Something's happening. What was that? That was gone before I could even tell what it was. Oh, well, thank goodness that got taken care of quickly. That could have been bad. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do our final tour. Uh, so coming up here, this road is how you would enter Nordhagen Beach. Uh, and you can see that we've got the settlement kind of dotted with these guard posts. Uh, this is a very secure settlement uh, backed by the Minutemen, of course, because it's a very important outpost for water production. Uh, so that's where we'll start, we'll start the tour. Uh, down here, we have these two industrial sized water purifiers and this generator. That's all maintained by this woman here. I know, but you have an important job. Uh, this is where water is purified and then packaged and shipped out to settlements in the rest of the Commonwealth. So this is a very important uh, settlement for the Minutemen, even though it is a tiny settlement. So this is where our mechanic lives. Uh, she's got armor workbench, weapons workbench, and then this tiny living area. Uh, so very good for her. And then of course we do have a Minuteman guard. Uh, this is his barrack setup. He's got some trophies. Uh, he's got some storage, little desk fan. Uh, and then on top of the guard barracks, if I can get up there, uh, he's got this little setup where he can sit and maintain these uh, turrets uh, and just kind of supervise that nobody's coming into the settlement. Cause again, this is a pretty key location for us. Uh, this whole beach, this whole, uh, land area is owned by the original settlers so that's a couple and their son uh, so we have built them a much larger two-story house uh, so let's go ahead and tour that now they have this small sitting area they have a kitchen area you can see the kid loves sugar bombs a small kitchen setup and then upstairs we have this section for the parents to sleep in and then the kids room here with the little uh, toy basket teddy bear poster everything that a kid could want uh, this is their farm so this used to be a smaller white picket fence and only gourds because uh, not much was able to grow in the sandy soil but we have upgraded them with some more fertile gardening plots so now they have better crop diversity ah, my back hurts. My feet hurt. i know 
everything hurts. But me. you have food and safety and great housing, so you're actually very welcome. Uh, coming down here, we have a small outhouse, some more turrets. Um, and then the last thing we have in this settlement is just this medic setup. You know, the, the Minuteman offered their protection to this family, uh, and the family opted for if there could be a medic placed here that was really important to them because they do have a small child. Um, over, say, a general trader, a clothing stall, or a bar. Uh, so that about does it for this settlement. Very, very small, compact, but very useful uh, and very well-used space for us as the Minutemen. So that about does it for us here today. Thank you so much for joining me, the General of the Minuteman, on another one of these settlement builds as we work to make the Commonwealth safer one settlement at a time. I have a playlist of all the builds that I have done so far. I'm not sure what's next. Preston just gave me the option of the castle, so maybe a castle build. I don't usually like building there, but I guess we'll see. Um, yes, yeah, so be sure to check out the playlist and be sure to follow along. Leave me a comment. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you next time.